let's start talking about Hobbycon 2023 in a in a all this in a deep dive atmosphere, right? Like we usually do when we when we review when we review anime events. Let's get to the nitty gritty of this review. So first off, we're going to talk about the uh, the potential people traffic that they're going to encounter in this event come tomorrow, as of this recording, uh, the final day, because it's a three-day event. Um, three-day event, ito. Magandang people traffic. Uh, the way I, the way I, um, I'm seeing it. Uh, I'm trying to picture it. Uh, picture the event when it's uh, when it's full pack, right? Even the space, the man, yung, uh, yung mga stalls, and yung distance, and the distance from the stage is spacious enough. Overall, I got nothing to say about the um, about uh, the way they can handle the people traffic. This, this event. Kung kaya nila, come, come the third day, come the final day, kung kaya nila. Now, merchants, total. Nakabili tayo ng merch, so we're going to include the merchants in this review. Um, so, oh, uh, mostly familiar faces, kasi uh, I've seen these merchants before in previous events. Lalong lalo na sa the uh, the event we um, we reviewed last time, which is Boltcon 3.0. Yep, some of them were also there. So, medyo nakilala nila ako eh. But, and some of these merchants, talagang uh, talagang nabilang ko ng merch last time. If not in uh, if not in Boltcon in previous events pa. And yeah, yeah, I'm quite a familiar face right now when it comes to event blocking. Uh, I'm remarkable. Wala naman akong reklamo. And, um, maga, repeat customer na rin nila ako. So, no hitches when it comes to, um, when it comes to transacting. Although, yung, uh, yung binilang ko nito, mukhang, hindi, meron, meron silang, ano dun eh, meron silang, there's a, um, there's a little Gcash sign there. So, they, they do, they do accept Gcash. And, of course, cash. And, I also got no um no complaints about about the merchants over there. They were they were all um they were all trying to they were all trying to sell you something, which is good. Okay, which is really good. Kung ikaw ko para sa Volcon 3.0 to mas engaging ang mga merchants dito. Mas engaging sila. Now, last but not the least. Security. So na naman tayo. Uh, on the part of the organizer, it was a really good idea to, to issue out media passes. Most especially to vloggers like me. If you've seen my vlog already or if you haven't, right, there's the card, right? There's the card right there. Right? There's the card right there. Before I actually was given a media pass, nagtanong ako. Okay. Uh, through Messenger, through their uh, through their FB page. Can I vlog your event? Because the experience ko from Robinson's Gallery itself, pag may nagbab vlog don, naninita ang mga guardia. I should know. Nasita na ako twice don. So, ayun, sabi nila na, oh, we can we can give you a media pass once you're once you're at the event or at the event. So, yun nga. Kanina lang. In approach kong event staff, even the even uh, pinaka boss nila, the main organizer, at agad agad nila ako binigyan ng, ng media pass. So I started blogging the event without any security personnel um, telling me that I can. Right, On the part of the organizer, wala ako masabi. They came prepared for this event. Now, all security, hindi ako contento. You are holding an anime event. Okay, uh, I'm directing. I'm directing this at uh, at the um, at the mall security department. Anime con ito, 
right? A hobby convention. Siguradong dadagsayin kayo pagdating ng hapon. Walang barricade. So medyo nag... Ah, uh, medyo nakaalang-alang ko. Right? The people traffic is fine. It's manageable. Pero yung security, mukhang nagkulang ang security ng mall dito. After all, eh, uh, you're you're renting that space out for events. You might as well, uh, you might as well over deliver on that service. Lagyan yung man lang ng barricade ang uh, ang buong event place para makontrol lalo ang mga tao. Okay, and uh, what made what what made it more disturbing for me is walang choke point. Yung definite na entrance and exit. That can... Wow. Sana man lang nag, uh, nag, nag, nagbigay pa ng uh, extra provisions ang security ng mall. Barricade man lang. Right? Barricade man lang. Pero wala eh. Right? So again, like in... Um, hindi. Unlike in, uh, unlike in Volcon 3.0, talagang... May prior ng usapan eh. Mer- meron talaga sila mga barricade doon. Okay? Talagang makokontrol nila ang ang flow ng tao. Here, security-wise, I am um, I'm a bit disturbed. Wala nang barricade. Wala rin choke points. Right? Kasi kung may choke points dito, mas okay. Mas magagalitin ninyo ang security ng mga congoers. So, ang talaga nag-initiate dito ng, uh, ng security at ng people traffic for the congoers is the organizers themselves. Mukhang talagang, uh, I really commend the, uh, the organizers of Hobbycon. Talagang, uh, they, were, they were at least three steps ahead of more security. And that should not be the case. <laughs> well, Yeah. I can't exactly say it's a failure kasi may mga roving, may mga roving guards din eh. Pero, hindi sila madalas pumasok sa, sa mismong venue eh. Alright, nasa labas lang eh. They should have done more. They should have done more. Pero, this is just my observation as uh, as an event reviewer. We can, yeah, we can honestly say na Medyo nagkulang. Right now, sinasabi ko. Right now, na, right now nag, medyo kulang ang, music, ang, uh, ang security ng mall dito. Parikid man lang, ayos na eh. So, ano ang overall rating natin for Hobbycon 2023? Guys, are you ready? Okay, on the part of the organizer, yeah, they did, they did the proper steps. Because at the end of the day, yung organizers ang uh, ang talagang uh, they will um they will take the heat at the end of the day anyway maganda rin yung mga okay rin yung people traffic sa kay merchants two thumbs up <laughs>